Mr. Renzi, welcome to Geneva. My first question is about Europe, um, I mean, and Brussels, uh, uh, elements that you know well. Uh, some people speak now about a European miracle because this continent is finally um, united uh, in the war, uh, in the context of the war with Ukraine, uh, in Ukraine. How do you see that? Is there a new Europe, like a miraculous uh, union that is, that is uh, behaving perfectly? Or do you still have some reserves about this union? I, I'm a supporter of idea of United States of Europe. So I'm a great fan of European unity. I grew up with the model of the great leaders of the past who had the dream, the dream of manifesto of Vento Tene in a little island in Italy. They wrote during fascism and Nazism a document to create a new United States of Europe. So I'm a great fan. But I think, of course, as you said, uh, European reaction to the aggression, Putin's aggression against Ukraine, uh, Russian invasion, uh, you used this expression, miracle. It's uh, similar to miracle. Also during pandemic, Europe showed a good uh, face of solidarity and unity. But for me, it's not enough. Uh, we surpassed the old divisions, mm -hmm. but we need today a vision for the future, for the next generation. So I'm happy for the good steps, but as a citizen who believed in the, a believe, a will believe in the United States of Europe, I think we have a lot of things to do. For example, create a stronger Europe in balance, economy, financial sector, but also in new technologies, in robotics, in the space challenging. So we have a lot of things to do. What would be a vision? My opinion is that China and India in the next 10 years will arrive to more than 3 billion of people. Europe is less than half billion. So Europe is very, very, very little respect to the new giants. Yeah. And at the same time, we stay, we face in front of a very terrible demographic crisis. Uh, you can say, ah, but it's not so important, uh, demography. No, no. Roman Empire and, the, and Finnish for that. And a lot of civilization be began to, to the end with the crisis of demography. So we have new vision for demography. New vision in the time of metaverso for our cultural roots, our cultural values. New vision for the new technologies to attract young people. So I think Europe is good if don't think only about bureaucracy, but have a dream. Not about dream, but like the present reality. I mean, uh, some people say, okay, it's, it's good that Europe is united in this context, but on the other side, you see some cracks. Uh, appearing between the German position, uh, the French position, the, the, the Hungary is still uh, a bit different. And also people say, okay, Europe is just following the, the, the impulse of the United States. In this case, I mean, the US is really leading the effort uh, on Ukraine. What, what do you see? You think the, the, the miracle will last long or not? I think also America, also the United States of America have to discuss very deeply about the next century. Um, I'm a great friend of United States of America. I consider without United States of America, we risked to become the third generation of Third Reich. So we have an, a huge uh, depth of uh, gratitude and uh, friendship to American people. At the same time, exactly because we are really friends, and you know it, a Latin expression is amicus plato, sed magis amica veritas. In English, we can translate the truth is the real signal of friendship, is more important the friendship, or more correctly, 
is a part of friendship, say the truth. Uh, I think we have to say the truth to American guys. We risk to lose the real great power of United States around the world if we don't create a new uh, transatlantic partnership. Mm. And that is not only about NATO, it's not about uh, relation between EU and USA, it's about the vision of the future of tomorrow. Because the risk of Ukraine, well, first of all, of course, is the human life, uh, particularly of our uh, Ukrainian friends uh, and brothers. But there is a consequence, who is in the medium term, in the long period, mm. Russia have to move in the direction of China. The movement of the geographic map in the direction of East risk, will risk to reduce the power of American influence. And that is a problem for America and is a problem for Europe. Among the leaders in Europe, I mean, uh, Macron is criticized for keeping a dialogue with Putin and saying we should not humiliate him in this, in this war. Uh, how, how do you assess his personality and his action? First of all, I think Macron today is the most brilliant leader in the EU and I'm so happy he won the presidential election because he's an intelligent guy with a vision, with an ideal, and so we are really, really, really supportive uh, about Macron. About uh, the situation in the Western countries, we have to be very clear. Everyone of us believed in the um, responsibility, believe there are some responsibilities very clear of Vladimir Putin in that war. There is not doubt, there is not cloud in that. The, the, the sky is clear. Yeah. The responsible is Vladimir Putin, point. Inside this alliance, who support Ukraine, who give the weapon to Ukraine, who give the financial sanctions against Russia, there are two different visions. The first is we have to fight until the end, and we have to promote a regime change in Russia. I think that strategy is uh, no way strategy because uh, regime change in Russia today uh, it's in my view absolutely impossible mm. and so for that uh, we have to discuss about peace and about diplomacy with Vladimir Putin that is the position of Macron but that is correct uh, I don't I don't like Vladimir Putin's invasion. I against Vladimir Putin's invasion. I support Ukrainian army and I vote in my Italian parliament for the sanctions and for the weapons, sanctions to Russia, weapons to Ukraine. That is clear. At the same time, if you want to stop the war, we need diplomacy. And diplomacy is not between two gentlemen in the club, uh, in the London uh, club, uh, with a cigarro and uh, with the salmon and the caviar. The peace is between the people who stay on the ground. And on the ground there are, of course, Ukraine, Ukrainians and Russians. So I agree with Macron the idea to continue a dialogue with Putin despite a very clear position. Vladimir, you are the responsible, but I will discuss with you to try to block this war. It's mm. very clear. One of the victims of this war is climate. I mean, uh, nobody speaks about climate anymore. Uh, it was the, the talk of, uh, you know, the century probably. Uh, uh, how do you see that? Do you think it's like forgotten? Yeah, that is true. I, I joked uh, during the, our, our meeting because uh, uh, the invasion in Russia uh, change the schedule for two topics. The first uh, is Putin cancelled uh, uh, COVID. Nobody discussed about COVID now in the public agenda. Not as in the past. Uh, in an Italian newspaper, there was um, 
uh, humor and sarcastic uh, article, uh, Putin is not the guy for Nobel Prize uh, for peace, of course, uh, but maybe for medicine, because uh, the people stop to discuss about COVID. Um, of course, I think that is an exaggeration, because uh, we need to invest in the healthcare. We need to invest uh, in um, new efforts against the next pandemic. And uh, we have to pay a tribute to the people who died for COVID. A lot of people died for COVID alone, terrible died. That. This is the first. The second is about climate change, because uh, six months ago, everyone in Europe speak about, uh, spoke about uh, uh, climate change, Greta, green economy, circular economy. Now we discuss about nuclear, gas. Uh, um, something has changed. Um, I believe we have to be more intelligent uh, and have a comprehensive vision. Climate change is a problem. Is a need, we need a great campaign for sustainability, also in finance, not only in finance, but at the same time, we have to protect our jobs. Thinking about industry car uh, decision some uh, days ago in, uh, in um, uh, Brussels, so in Strasbourg. We have a lot of uh, uh, priorities. I think that is the most important thing for a politician. Don't follow polls and like and Instagram as a Bible. We live not in democracy but in instacracy. We follow every single like, every single post, every single wave. No, we have to have a vision for the next generation. Then, of course, we have to combine together every type of attention and be careful about the people's opinion, but not follow the people. If you follow, you are a follower. follower. If you have some ideas, you are a leader. That is the difference. Okay. F leader, not followers. We have gone through the pandemic. We are going through this Ukraine war crisis, which will have huge consequences all over the world, like the grain, the, 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 the wheat crisis in Africa will probably be dramatic. If it ends, uh, how do you see the world after that? Do you, do you think the world will be different if there is an end to these two crises? In the first days of a um, pandemic in Italy, in every balcony, in every terrace, in every window, a lot of people wrote everything will be good and will be better will be better, will be better. I don't know if we are better than two years ago. I don't know if we'll be better after pandemic. I'm sure about one point. Pandemic was a stress test, not for our financial institution, not for banks, not for politicians, also for that. But the pandemic was a stress test for our soul, mm -hmm. our identity. And I believe we'll be a different man and a woman if we will work with more attention about human relation, about human values. In a time of big data, I think we need uh, big emotions. In a time of uh, in artificial intelligence, we have also a natural compassion. In a time of robotics, we remember ourselves to be men and women. So that means uh, I don't know if pandemic transform ourselves, if we will be better orientated about human values, maybe the lessons of pandemic uh, will be useful for, for, for something. And for the war in Ukraine, do you think the world will change geopolitically? Do you think that big alliances will change, that uh, some actors in Asia will, will rise and some... Do you see big changes after it's that? It's early to understand, but for me, yes. 
it's early because we are in the first uh, four months of war. I hope finally we'll arrive as soon as possible to the peace, but what could happen, nobody today could predict. predict. My opinion is yes, we risk a, Ukraine have to be a game changer after World War II, after agreements in Yalta, uh, we had a um, global geopolitical uh, uh, order. Now we, we are ready for a new global world order, but nobody know really what type of new order will be. Uh, probably Russia near to the China, probably the um, East will be stronger than the past and maybe now stronger also the West. I don't know. There is West versus the rest, as uh, someone uh, used to say. I believe Ukraine risks to become a game changer, but it's too early to affirm without doubts. Mm -hmm.